Hi everyone, it's Lynn Lecky here. Um, just come to you today just to talk to you about the seven benefits of the ketogenic diet. Um, now I've written some notes down to make sure that I don't forget any, um, but basically of course the number one uh, is weight loss. Um, let's face it, you know, um, fat becomes the source of your, your energy. Um, in a traditional carb diet, carb is your energy source. So it's why um, quite often uh, you would crave carbs when you're on a carb diet. Um, you crave sugar when you're on a carb diet. Um, but when you're on the keto diet, you actually don't. You don't. You actually don't crave carbs, which is really quite mind-boggling um, you just don't your body ends up using its fat um, to fuel itself so so basically what happens is on the ketogenic diet you have a uh, you have macros to use and uh, so you may have uh, five percent um, carbs that you consume during the day you may have 25% um, of uh, protein and 70% fats um, now that's of course good fats, it's not um, the unsaturated fats, so it's really, really the, the, the good fats that we're talking about there, you know, the, the kind that you get in avocados and um, macadamias and um, full creams and, and things like that. Um, also uh, with, with that, um, so your body uses fat, so when your body actually flicks the switch, so to speak, so once you've been on the keto diet for a few days, your body will start to use fat to fuel itself. It will no longer rely on carbs. It'll, it'll change the way it, um, it basically goes through your body, the food goes through your body. So, so what will happen is you'll, you'll find that you don't have as much waste, uh, so you're not going to the toilet as much um, because a carb, a carb diet does actually make you go to the toilet quite quite regularly um, whereas when you're eating a diet that is very low in carbs but high in fats and protein your body uses that to fuel itself so now of course you still have to stick to calories so um, you know if you want to lose weight you can't just eat as much fat and protein and that as you want and think that that's okay because it's not you still have to stick to a calorie diet but um, and, and keep your calories lower if you want to lose weight, of course, you know, like say 1300, 1400 calories. Um, however, when you're, when you're having that in uh, a source of protein, leafy veg um, and some uh, fats, you'll actually find that you don't use all your calories in the day anyway because you're not hungry. Um, the food source that you eat on the keto diet actually keeps you fuller longer. So, so you're not actually finding yourself um, looking for afternoon snacks or um, you know, actually craving snacks or anything like that because you just it just doesn't happen. All right, so, so that's number one. Okay, so benefit number two, um, appetite control. Um, so yeah, when, when you're on a carb diet, um, you, you, you tend to crave carbs, like, you know, you, you crave um, some sweets, you, you, you crave um, desserts, you crave like a whole heap of different things, whether it be breads or pastas or, or what rice, all those sorts of things, potatoes, fries, all of those sorts of things. They're, they're very Moorish, they're very, you know, you, your body will tell you that you need them. Um, because it was relying on carbs to fuel itself. Whereas when you're um, on the keto diet, you're actually not hungry. I mean, sometimes I don't even have my nighttime meal because I'm just not hungry after eating lunch. Um, it just, I don't know, it's weird, but that's what happens. Um, number three, is a better mental focus kind of lost my focus there for a minute but anyway um yeah so better mental focus um and basically that's because um carbs cause blood sugar i've got this written down 
blood sugar levels to rise and fall. Energy isn't consistent, therefore brain has to work harder to concentrate. So um, on, a, on a carb diet, your blood sugar levels go up and down um, all the time. And you know when they're down is when you crave your carbs and, and then they go back up and then they go back down and then you crave more carbs. And of course your body's actually not using any of its fat storage to fuel itself. So that's why you stay fat. Um, it's really that simple. And with the ketogenic diet, it works differently. It, it actually starts, your body starts to eat itself in effect. I mean, it sounds gross, but that's actually what happens because it's relying on fat sources. It then, once uh, your tummy's empty and once all the, that food's gone, it'll start to eat itself, all right? So that's, uh, that's really quite cool. Um, and also just on um, better mental focus, when you're in ketosis, your brain uses ketones as a fuel source. So instead of carbs, instead of sugar, instead of insulin, all of that sort of stuff. So um, quite interesting. All right, so num and number four is more energy. You do have more energy on this diet. Um, before I started the keto diet, I really didn't have much energy at all. Uh, you know, and I just put it, to old age or whatever, I just thought that, you know, obviously there was something wrong with me, it was my iron, I, I do suffer from low iron, um, I don't think I'll suffer from low iron anymore though because I'm eating a lot of iron rich foods on the keto diet um, and I feel heaps better so um, I think uh, the more energy is actually really really good. Um, I've got written here moving from carbs as an energy source to fats means your body always stores fats so the source will never run out. When fats you have eaten run out it uses your fat storage to fuel itself so basically yeah that's just what I went through. Okay so number five helps fight type 2 diabetes. Um, the ketogenic diet removes sugar from the diet. It lowers the HbA1c or 1c count and can effectively reverse diabetes. Um, uh, most people who are overweight have the risk of type 2 diabetes. Um, it's in my family history. Uh, it is a hereditary thing as well. So, you know, um, to be on keto and know that uh, I can reverse that chance of that happening for myself is pretty cool. All right, um, number six, um, increase levels of HDL cholesterol. Now, HDL cholesterol is the good cholesterol, not the bad one, all right? The LDL is the bad one. Now, um, HDL carries the bad cholesterol away from the body and it what it does is it takes it to the liver where it either is reused or excreted um, so so the HDL carries the bad cholesterol down to the liver so that it can actually be excreted from your body um, that's why the keto diet is really good in that way uh, number seven is that it lowers blood pressure um, now we all know that if you have high blood pressure, your risk of heart failure. So um, high blood pressure runs in my family. My father um, passed away at 54 from a heart attack and he suffered with high blood pressure for many years. My mum has high blood pressure so you know there's a chance that I could get it too so I have to do what I can to try and avoid that and I've just found the keto diet to probably be one of the best diets I think I've ever been on. Um, and that's like just saying, honestly, there's, you know, there's delicious recipes, um, which I will be sharing on my YouTube channel. I'm going to make some muffins and some pizza dough and all sorts of stuff, which is not made out of carbs. Um, also, there's like those cool fat bombs and there's um, some awesome desserts, soups, Indian food, like you name it, there's so much in keto that you can have. And the best thing about keto is that it doesn't feel like a diet, it actually feels like a lifestyle change, it feels like a way of life, and it feels like something I could do quite easily. And I'm really, really surprised that I have not missed junk food, I have not missed breads, I have not missed pasta, 
and the most important one that I have not missed is potato and I honestly I just can't believe it um, if you want to um, get some more information from me along the way I'm going to document my journey um, I'm only in week two of the keto diet so I'm still learning it too um, and if you want to learn it with me and come along the way then then hop on board subscribe to my channel and let's get this show on the road and also I want to do a 28 day challenge so if people are interested um, drop a comment below and maybe we'll get a 28 day weight loss challenge up and happening okay thanks a lot guys bye